Well, Leicester go six points clear at, at the top of the championship. I've just well, I've only been up for the football so far. But Burnley, no Danny Ingins. And after five minutes, Sam Vokes got injured. And with a few key plays out for Burnley, it it sort of showed. Leicester now running things, they're top of the league, top of the championship, they're going to the Premier League, it's only a matter of time before they're declared champions. The first goal was pretty good from David Nugent, brilliant goal. And in the second half, Burnley plucked away, but really couldn't get a a decent shot on target. I think, you know, Casper Schmeichel's made one half side to stop Burnley scoring. Then, you know, Chris would chase the ball down, just cutting the left arm and bang a beauty straight into the top left. 2 0 Leicester all over. Well, I think Leicester are definitely in the championship with two games in hand. Wigan on Tuesday night. But Burnley, 10 points clear of Queen's Park Rangers. Now, when you look at the plays Burnley have got out, especially Danny Higgins and Sam Vokes, who have been magnificent all season. I mean, you talk about the best deal of the season. They sold... Austin, Charlie Austin, the Queen's Park Rangers, and it looked like what were Burnley going to do? Sam Vokes, Danny Higgins, put them together, they've been on fire all season. And Burnley have surprised everybody by getting second. I mean, before this game, they were 16 games unbeaten, and it shows what a with a brilliant defence they've got. They're quite strong in midfield and they've got the scoring power. But now the injuries have hit in. With the games left, I would say Burnley should be okay. I can't see them losing all the remaining games. I can somehow see Burnley just having enough to get over the line. But it could be a chance now for Queen's Park Rangers to look at that and keep you up and say, well, maybe, maybe this is Burnley's first big bad run of the season. This could start a bad run for Burnley. And if QPR now can keep it consistent, maybe, maybe QPR could just get second place right at the death. Maybe, maybe not. As for Leicester, I mean, what's it now? 19 games unbeaten. They look magnificent. Magnificent squad. Premiership football guaranteed. Going to be hard at Wigan Athletic on Tuesday night. Could look, should be another good game worth watching. But let's say, I'll say now, Leicester have won the championship. They're in the Premiership next season. Nigel Pearson's done a fantastic job putting that squad together. I say you can have all the money in the world, but you need somebody to come in and put a good team together and a good squad together. And Nigel Pearson has done that. Overall, as I said, Leicester actually only had two shots on target and they both went in. Overall, a good game. I will say well done to Leicester City. Burnley. Should they panic a bit? Not at the moment. I mean, 10 points clear at this stage of the season is massive. And I will say to QPR, you know, and Derby County, really for Burnley to throw away a 10-point lead at this stage of the season, as we are in April, well, we're not, but we're getting close. It's now, the next game is in April, I can't possibly see Burnley throwing 10 points away. And I think Burnley should be able to get second place. I might 
see something different at the end of the season, but could make things interesting now for second place, really. But as I said, top place, Leicester City, as you can see. Anyway, I'm going to wake myself up now and have a nice shower. I've been Pure Football, Matthew Graham, and I am out of here. And thank you very much for watching my video. Good bye.